What have I created? What have I done? I love it, but it's also completely horrible. It appears I'm being massacred by my ability to just do silly stuff. Oh yes, glorious silly stuff. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Heroes Hour, my favorite Heroes of Might and Magic free replacement because it's exactly that game, but as an auto battler and it's of course perfectly balanced. Now last time we played this game, we decided to see if necromancy was overpowered and the resounding answer was, oh my dear god, yes. Now today, we're on a very similar quest as we try and discover if it's truly possible to gain unlimited power. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you're sat back, relaxed, you have a nice warm cup of Yorkshire tea in hand. And if you're feeling especially fantastic, you can even like the video. Now without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to dive into a brand new game of Heroes Hour as we perfectly balance this monstrosity and assure our unlimited total power. Alright, so we're going to be starting a brand new game on a very large map. Uh, we're going to go for the Gate of Sparta because it's huge. Next up we actually need to pick who we're playing. Now last time we played Decay because they're the zombie boys and these guys are fantastic because they just raise huge quantities of the undead. Now in order to actually pull off today's exploit you can either start as Soul Eater here in the undead tree or you can play as the Enclave and play as Ela Nila here. However they suck so instead we're playing as the amazing Decay faction because I love the undead. We can also play against uh, literally anyone. I think the humans make sense yep yeah, they're literally the carbon opposite of us. So, welcome to our first turn of this lovely game. It's Monday of week one. Monday, of course, in this game is the greatest day of the week. Unlike in real life, of course, where it's the International Day of Suffering. No, Monday is great because that's the day you get to recruit all of the new troops in this game. At the same time, because I've decided to start both myself and the AI with a little bit of a boosted start, so we have capitals, we get to pick a few upgrades for our starting town. Number one, we're going to pick up Well of Power. This is going to give us plus two spell power to all current and future heroes, basically making all of our spells more powerful. If it's a summoning spell, we're going to summon more stuff. If it's a fighting spell, it's going to do more fighting. You get the gist. If our aim is for unlimited power, this is certainly a step in the right direction. So we're going to grab the Well of Power. Next up, we need to pick up some kind of improvement. And so for that, we're going to upgrade our graveyard as this allows us to upgrade all of these skeletons and recruit a whole bunch of them lovely. And we'll also get some wraiths into our army. Fantastic. Oh, it's glorious. All right, now we're going to do our first proper fight now with our lovely lovely wizard lady. We've got a whole bunch of skeletons and spidey boys and in return we're fighting what is I guess Crabulon. That's okay. We'll fight Crabulon. Lovely stuff. So it's time for us to start our battle and luckily for us we have some great magic. We can summon elemental rocks now. We can summon air elementals as well and we can even summon ice elementals. Now all of these spells are being multiplied by our skill power and as you can see we are such a powerful mage now that this is increased by 260 meaning we're able to summon over double what the original spell is intending. At the same time, a fireball now does a lot more damage. So we can just cast one like that and ooh, okay, that hardly did any damage. Oh god. Oh god, these are, they have so much health. Luckily, we're going to summon a few rock elementals anyway. They're going to do their job. They're going to jump in here, do some punching. These rock elementals, they're good boys. They're strong, tough boys. They can do a few good hits. They know how to do the punches. And there we go. We've won our battle. Lovely. And of course, because we're a necromancy undead person, whenever stuff dies, it actually comes back as another thing. So we've now got some corruptors and specters on our side. Lovely. Now we're going to pick up the third tier of summoning. This is going to make all of our summoning abilities even greater. We can now summon horrors, which is lovely. Well, I suppose lovely for me. Most people probably don't want us summoning horrors. But as you can see, because we improved our abilities, we've gone from being able to summon seven air elementals to summoning eight, which is now even greater. At the same time, we can summon horrors. I don't know what the horrors are, but they sound fun. So let's get two of them in there. Oh my goodness. They are nightmare monsters. Ah, oh, they're just okay. They're dead, but sure. They did something. I don't know what that something is, but it was something. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a fantastic offer from the Boffins at Spivco. That's right. For the first 6,000 people who like this video, you're going to gain unlimited power. That's right. Because we had so much raw power lying around, we've decided to give it to you. You can do whatever you like with it, provided you know some magical spells. If you don't know magical spells, Spells, then oh well it doesn't matter you just now have raw unlimited power and you can't do anything with it but hey that's fine anyway back to turning living beings into unlimited spell power to make more living beings oh god what could possibly go wrong all right a few turns have passed and uh, our hero spell power has increased even more as you can see we're up to level nine we've only just entered into week three and already our elemental air spells as you can see are being amplified by 325 percent meaning we get 
12 units every time we cast this spell, which is downright incredible. It's absolutely glorious, and as you can imagine, it's going to give us a huge amount of power. Right, our hero is gaining in power. We are up to level 9, but we're now leading a relatively formidable army. And as, of course, we're the undead, this army grows every time we fight. So we're going to go into our next battle, and we can summon a huge rain of arrows that is just quite simply going to decimate the enemy. We have a summon anima spell, which is going to allow us to summon 20 tiny little anima beings which will fight for us. There we go, look at them go. They're not very strong, but we can summon a straight additional 20 units to our armed forces, and they're going to mess about with any of the enemy's archers and just generally do a fantastic job. As you can see, that's a glorious total victory for us. Ah, oh, it's perfectly balanced. Oh, and that's also experience, and we can drain enemy corpses to gain mana. Oh yes, it's all endless power. Right, there's an enemy wizard here that we can fight. I get the feeling that we might as well start fighting some of the enemy factions because it's probably the right thing to do. But first we shall hit the enemy with a meteorite into their backline which will kill most of their units, causing a whole bunch of chaos. And then we're going to summon 20 anima units just right into the middle of the formation just for a fun little bit of chaos. And then we're going to fortify all of our own units, making them even more powerful, tanky and beefy and oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, this is true power ladies and gentlemen. We can then do a corpse explosion on the corpses of the anima that we summoned and this explosion is going to decimate the entire enemy battlefield and there we go the enemy's forces are pretty much all crumbling into the dust now rest in peace rest in pieces Ah, that's glorious, total victory for us, and 15,000 experience, and also 12 mana, lovely. We're going to pick up creation here, as this is going to allow us to create some elemental creatures just for free, and then we level up again, so we're going to pick up another point into summoning, but all in all, that was a fantastic battle. All right, so we've just looted basically the enemy hero's corpse for all of their items, and that in turn is going to give us more ore per day, we get increased defense and knowledge, and increased defense and creature speed. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, we're going to quickly nip back to the town so we can restock our military forces. And then we're going to try and just start beating up other heroes that we run into. Because chances are, they've got some cool loot on them. If not, we can go up here to the black market and we might be able to find ourselves a few of the special magic items that I'm looking for that are going to allow us to completely break the game. But first, we're going to beat up these boys here that have a huge amount of rock elementals. Oh my goodness, and we have shield which affects friendly units to increase their health and sturdiness us greatly and because of our spell power ability this is ridiculously powerful anyway let's summon some creatures we're gonna summon 16 fire elementals oh my god is that allowed 26 anima oh my god okay we're gonna go for the 26 anima because it's gonna absolutely destroy the enemy's flyers and it's also just dirt cheap it's one of the cheapest spells we have and they are just perfect at disrupting any enemy formation and we'll even get some fire elementals in here as well because come on they just look great yeah look at them go sizzling away having a grand old time Time. Anyway, that was meant to be a relatively balanced battle, but no, look at that power bar lean in our favor. My goodness, this is total and complete glorious victory for the Empire. Ah, it's truly majestic, and that's more experience, and oh yes, we get to shape some creations, that's right, we're making elementals for free, and the boots that we just got ourselves gives us the ability to call beasts, ooh, very fun. Now, because we have the ability to call beasts, now occasionally in battle, just random gigantic monkeys are going to be appearing out of thin air and you know that's great good for them uh, I don't know what they intend to do but they're here and they're having a good time and that's honestly all that matters that's what life is all about being a big old monkey just having a big old fun time anyway I keep summoning gigantic demonic spirits which are terrifyingly powerful and just winning the game there we go that's 6,000 experience we're gonna gain 13 mana we're gonna make some creations for free oh and that's also a level up of course it is we're gonna pick up better mysticism there we go and we're also gonna go to the black market here because there's a chance there's going to be an item in here that we really really want. Okay this ring is quite good because it gives plus two spell power and plus two knowledge but alas it's not the item we're looking for. Oh my goodness the brilliant orb. Okay right now we've discovered an infinite source of spell power ladies and gentlemen. Visiting the orb allows a hero to meditate turning mana into permanent bonuses of to spell power or knowledge. Oh yes we can convert mana into spell power. Oh and there's something we can very easily do to complete 
completely break this. It's Monday of week four. That means our castle has a, has a whole bunch of new items in it. It doesn't have anything we like. No, it does not. But that is fine because um, we've discovered infinite power up here. So we're going to go and sample some infinite power. All right, I'm going to go and summon some water elementals because this spell is ridiculously cheap at only 19 mana. And the fact that it pretty much summons an entire army is absolutely glorious. Oh, and this is an army which, when it does damage to enemy creatures, curses them to make sure they come back as our troops when they die. Anyway, that was a glorious fight, and we now have control of the Brilliant Orb. However, if we were to increase our spell power at the moment, as we only have 26 mana lying around, we'd effectively spend two days to gain two spell power, and in my opinion, that's not worth it. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to cast a spell. We're going to cast Mana Spring, which has a seven-day cooldown, but this is going to convert all of our movement points into mana. So we press Confirm, and there we go. We get a nice little bit of extra mana topped up. Now, if we meditate here, we can drain a whole 50 mana and get ourselves an additional free to spell power and two to knowledge this is worth it so we're going to do that for two days going to put our hero out of commission for a little bit but it's going to be worth it in the long run oh now here we go this is one of the items we were looking for this is mesmer's wall a shield item which we can get now there are basically six of mesmer's items in the game if you get three of them then you get the bonus of the set which is that 50 percent of summoned creatures become permanent creatures and as you can imagine we summon quite a lot of creatures and if you know half of them were to become permanently real that's going to be very very useful so yes we're going to be wearing that bad boy and we're going to be getting the rest of his stuff oh yes we are all right i've now found the enemy human army which is over here it's a pretty good army it's uh, got some fun units in there but alas it is not going to survive against our giga army of death my goodness we are oh so powerful and of course every time we summon oh we just get even more and more powerful let's summon some elemental ices here because uh, we can, you know, just keep four of them around permanently. Why not? That's absolutely fantastic. These boys are built like tanks. They uh, quite simply don't die. They've got a power of 14. That's just absolutely ridiculous in this game. And yep, they're also mass murderers. That's um, an easy victory. And an enemy army completely knocked out. Oh, and it appears the blue is going on the offensive yet again by dumping a whole bunch of garbage armies right onto our lands. Now, the only issue is the AI doesn't know that this is just going to make me more and more powerful as I'll be converting pretty much all of their forces into, of course, my own power. Anyway, it's time for me to go and beat up on this random AI that decided to wander into our lands. Oh dear, oh dear, friend. Where on earth did you think you were going? No, 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 no. Come back here, friend. Oh my goodness, is he buggered off into the coastline? He's literally run off into the water. My goodness, right, that's it. We're going forward to his lands. Oh wait, he's just literally went off the coastline just to come straight back on. Okay, right, that's fine. Straight back through the portal we go. Let's go murder him now. Fantastic. All right, hello there, enemy hero. You have completely brought exactly the wrong things to this fight. All right, I'm going to summon a huge amount of ice elementals up here to murder each and every single one of the enemy's archers. I'm going to hit their main force with just a whole bunch of arrows that will, of course, lovingly murder them. And I'm going to wait a bit, but what I can do is I can use second life to summon ghosts from the corpses of the actual enemy army. That's right, meaning that we can gain just even more men to fight for us. <laughs> because these ghosts are summoned that gets what? 50% of the will stay on because that's just how gameplay works it's completely fair oh my goodness right that's another enemy defeated oh my goodness and then how on earth are we going to deal with all of these boys sat behind a wall well luckily we can just summon a whole bunch of eldritch horror beings into fight for us uh these eldritch horror beings of course summon creatures to also fight for them and those creatures will have a 50 percent chance of remaining ours as well this is just uh, completely unfair and not balanced in the slightest Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. We've discovered one of the ways we can now gain infinite power. This here is a fort, which allows us to basically convert some of our army into experience. That's right, we can just turn troops straight up into experience. We can turn these rot walkers, for example, into 2,400 experience. We can turn these beholders here into 6,200. What about these water creatures? Well, that just adds a whole bunch as well. Uh, we'll also add in the rot walkers as well, because we can, and the anima, because it's just cheap and garbage. Add in some zombies, and then what about these 
these AFA wings. There we go. Okay, we can just gain 15,000 experience here. And honestly, we kind of might as well because experience can take time. And honestly, that's just not needed. Anyway, we need to gain ourselves some new troops. And of course, the easiest way to do that is just to simply go into a fight with someone. And then when we're in a fight, we can actually just summon a whole bunch of horrors down here. There we go. Then we can summon some rock elementals, 13 of which want to stay with us. And then 27 air elementals, 16 of which are now going to become permanent. Anyway, that's glorious stuff. We're able just to summon an army out of thin air. Oh, and of course, because we're the undead, we're also raising the enemy army to become ours. That's right. Everything either gets converted to mana or troops or both. And actually, sometimes it doesn't just get turned into one troop. We get multiple troops. Now that's completely fair. Anyway, we can drain the enemy to get 21 mana. Lovely stuff. Something else we can do is also do a mana spring to turn all of our movement into mana. There we go. We're bam. And of course, that mana can become more troops. Yes, it's all an endless cycle. Right, I've managed to turn myself into a boat, which should hopefully let me chase down some of these enemy armies that are just wiggling around here in the ocean. Let's go this way. I know there's one over here. There we go. Yes, it's an enemy army. Lovely, right? You're going to get massacred, my friend. Right, the boats are going to start getting close to each other, but of course, before they're even going to meet, we can just hit the enemy army with a very cheap summon imp. So we're going to summon 34 imps onto their boat. Lovely stuff. That's just going to cause a fun bit of chaos. Then we're going to hit and summon a whole bunch of goblins as well, because why not? And then in order to make it just a little bit more difficult, we're going to give all of those goblins a force field. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Anyway, glorious combat will now ensue. Oh dear, your level 14 hero, I'm afraid, just isn't up to snuff. AI, oh no, no, no. It appears they're being massacred by my ability to just do silly stuff. Oh yes, glorious, glorious silly stuff. Right, well, the enemy army is getting pretty much decimated here. Yes, I've used up pretty much all of my magic, but um, that's completely fine. Our forces are just ridiculously overpowered in comparison to the enemy. It doesn't matter how tanky their troops are, we just quite simply have far more than they do. We can even summon reinforcements to decimate the enemy even more. And I think the enemy is completely out of reinforcements now. Yep, yep, they are. Rest in peace, AI. Rest in peace. All they have left is a single griffin, which is um completely useless and redundant in the grand scheme of things. There we go. We have won, ladies and gentlemen. That is 15,000 experience. Okay, right, now we found an arena, which is another way for us to gain experience. The only issue is we actually have to gain experience by fighting enemy creatures, which is fine for us, of course, because we can just repeatedly bash them over and over again with our overwhelming power, especially when we cast mass shield on all of our units, which will effectively turn them into near immortals. Well, this has been an incredibly costly fight. We've pretty much lost our entire army, but um, there we go. We finally done it. We beat this and got 40,000 experience. Okay. Poor. Yeah, sure. We lost most of our army, but I'd say in the grand scheme of things, everything worked out because we can now get level five summoning. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh god, this has been kind of crazy. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen, we've now found the single building in this game, which will of course always spawn, that will grant us infinite power. This is the Tower of Mages. Visiting the tower allows you to sacrifice parts of your army in order to improve your spell casting. That's right, it improves your spell power. Now remember, in our case, we use spell power to determine how many units we summon, and we can now summon units permanently, and then we can turn those units into spell power. I I think you can probably see where infinity is coming. Anyway, we're going to fight this uh, random AI dude. And of course, in this fight, we're just going to try and summon as much rubbish as we can. So that means we're going to summon 35 of these random goblins. 26 are going to join us. Lovely. Then we're going to summon some imps because we just literally need more cannon fodder. So why not? What about some anima? There we go. We can summon 48 of them. 24 are going to stick around permanently. We can even whack in some water elementals here because these bad boys, they're also great. 14 of them want to stick around permanently. Lovely. Also going to summon some elements. Elemental rocks, lovely. Check them out. Eleven of them are going to stay permanently. Glorious stuff. The enemy army is, of course, absolutely pathetic and terrible, and shall now be completely decimated and turned into our permanent warriors. Glorious stuff. As you can see, our army only grows with every battle. All right, so we need to try and take this tower. So that's exactly what we'll do. It was defended by forty-four knights, which we can just auto resolve and murder. Anyway, over to the castle we go. It's time for us to. Oh my God, we also get experience. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get rid of these red dragons. This is gonna give us, is that, is that six spell power? Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna throw in some rock pummelers, some of these animas, some of 
of these rot walkers, these imps, there we go, these aetherlings, these waveborns, these horrors, the bone lives, oh yes, the Nosferatu, why not? Let's also whack in some goblins, that's cool, and these tundra dudes, oh, we really like the tundra regions, and these boys, okay, yep, this looks good, this looks really good, fantastic, so we're going to get 74,000 experience, uh, 32, I'm pretty sure that's spell power, and 23 knowledge, so we're just gonna do that, uh, we're of course going to level up, our spell power I think is now at 52, that, that's pretty good, ladies and gentlemen, that is, um, very, very good, oh god, right, well, we're gonna pick up necromancy, because this is gonna be one of the ways we can just generate infinite mana, we can't revisit the tower for another week, I don't really think we need to, because we can now just summon an army whenever we like, that's right, the game is now pretty much, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> in its final end step, dear god, now you'll notice here it says the enemy army is impossible, this is a lie, this is a complete lie, we have become god, destroyer of worlds, our spell power is just absolutely ridiculous, and uh, now we're going to go into a battle and see just how many units we can summon, because we've got an enemy army on our tail, so we need to start summoning some dudes, uh, there's a huge arch demon here, some flame fiends, whatever, blah blah blah, doesn't matter, it's time for us to summon, we can now summon with 1,398% power magnitude, this is quite ridiculous, how many goblins can we summon, 71 goblins, of course, let us summon 71 goblins, 37 choose to of course permanently stay and fight for us, that's lovely, how many of these animas can we summon, 96 animas, we'll do that, why not, they won't even all fit in the screen, but it doesn't matter, let's get some of these elemental manners, because these ones are really good, there we go, we can get 12 of them down, we can also get some of these uh, elemental ices out, these guys are really nice, 16 of those bad boys, fantastic, don't mind if I do, water elementals, we can now get 48 of those, this is uh, pretty much double of what we could previously previously summon, and of course doubling what we could previously summon means our army is now growing at twice the rate. Anyway, that's a glorious player one battle, um, we can just drain their corpses for mana, and of course we get to shape more creations out of them, oh it's glorious, absolutely glorious. Oh, we can also actually hire some rangers here, and we can, we might as well, because it only costs us money, and then we can just convert that money into just more troops at the Tower of Majors, which we can now revisit, you'll also notice we have 89,000 gold in the bank. Well, suddenly that impossible enemy army that appeared is now only moderate for us to fight. Um, I actually kind of want to go and fight them, but we'll have to do that next turn because we're going to pretty much convert his entire military force into infinite power for us, so hopefully he stays on this island. And yep, he chose to stay on the island of death. That's fantastic for us. Right, let's go murder him. So, of course, he has a huge, gigantic army. Great for him. Lovely. I'm sure he's feeling really nice and confident. Anyway, let's go summon a whole bunch of ice elementals up here just to really ruin his day. And then we're going to whack 71 goblins right in just to, in we're gonna whack 71 goblins just into the middle of his army just to really spice things up a bit, and let's summon some anima, why not, just a whole bunch of anima, 48 of which will choose to permanently fight for us, lovely, good stuff, valiant warriors and all that, oh dear, the enemy army is going to have to suddenly start calling in his reinforcements if he's not careful, we can even bring in some of ours, ours are of course superior to his, oh yes, and of course because we're defeating a level 15 hero here with a whole bunch of dudes, we're going to be able to resurrect a huge amount of them, gain a huge amount of mana off of them and summon elementals at the same time. Fighting for us is now a way of gaining more spell power, and more spell power is infinite power. This is, in the wise words of Palpatine, UNLIMITED POWER! Ah, oh, it's perfectly balanced. As of course, all things should be. And there we go, that's an entire enemy army decimated and 31,000 experience for us. Lovely. We're going to, of course, drain their corpses for 35 mana and shape all of these glorious creations, and that's, of course, enough for us to level up. We're going to pick up um, mysticism to increase the effectiveness of all spells. Don't mind if I do. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is um, starting to get a very, very, very silly. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's, it's actually Christmas. Okay, the AI has decided to attack us with a huge army whilst we were just chilling on our island, effectively waiting for mana to stock up, and this is completely fine, because yes, it can look a little bit tricky, but with our brand new spell power increase, we are absolutely ridiculous. When we cast Summon Elemental Fire, we summon 86 fire elementals. This is just absolutely ridiculous, and we can of course choose to do this wherever we like on the battlefield. We're naturally going to do it right in the middle of where the enemy's range units are. This has given us 42 permanent air elementals. We're also going to summon 
done 13 horrors down here, eight of which are going to join us permanently, and these bad boys are going to start really messing with the enemy. Because I also hate the look of that dragon, I'm going to hex it and turn it temporarily into a frog. We can also summon 108 goblins if we really wanted to. I mean, actually, we're going to curse the enemy. Yeah, let's curse the enemy, greatly diminishing that dragon's health. We can summon 147 anima for just 14 mana, so we'll do exactly that. Oh, wow, yes, 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 yes. This fight is suddenly not looking as one-sided as it once did. Our spell power is ridiculous. We are casting spells for 2,000% of what they are originally meant to be. This is true glorious power. Our army is just able to convert mana to troops and troops to mana, and this cycle will never end. Oh, we managed to kill the enemy's red dragon and resummon it as a Thanatos. Glorious. This is our own version of the red dragon. It's like a dragon, but it's undead. Best of all, the enemy red dragon isn't even dead yet. We managed to summon this off of the frog. <laughs> Oh, it's perfectly balanced. Anyway, that is the entire enemy army completely dealt with now, and that's um, a glorious victory from what was apparently an impossible fight. But no, we managed it, ladies and gentlemen. We managed it. Oh, we also get to level up. Right, now I'd like to summon even more troops, so we're going to beat up on these deers that live in our lands, and uh, this should be fantastic for us. The AI wants us to skip the battle because we're so ridiculously overpowered, but we're not going to do that because this is a fantastic opportunity just to summon more units. So we're going to summon more beholders into the battle. We're going to summon more of these elemental creatures that are just fantastic. Get another 13 of those. Get some magma elementals going. That's another 15 permanent magma elementals. I suppose we can also choose some of the cheaper creatures, but where's the fun in that when we can just summon air elementals? There we go. That's another 30 air elementals. And we can get another whole bunch of fire elementals as well. That's 43 fire elementals summoned today. We'll throw in some ice ones for good measure. Get a few more beholders in because they're just lovely friends. And then we'll bear more air elementals elementals. The game is really starting to chug now because we've summoned so many units onto the field of battle, but it's okay. Don't worry. It's perfectly balanced. I suppose for our final summon, we can just bring out 62 goblins for free. Hell yeah. Who doesn't love goblins? So um, it's up to the uh, lovely Tower of Mages again as we're about to convert our army into more power. So there's a red dragon. That's another five spell power. These lovely Aetherlings. Glorious. These boys. We can even drop in a Thanatos, some Cyclones, some of these boys. Oh, Oh yes, this is just getting better and better, isn't it? Oh, there we go. That's another 45 spell power added to the mix, as well as a whole bunch of experiences. We are now level 25. Our spell power is now up to 134, meaning if we were to summon those fire elementals again, uh, we now get 120 of them. Oh god, and 50% of them joy. So that's 60 fire elementals every time we cast that spell. Pretty much guaranteed permanently. This is getting very silly, but I absolutely love it. Okay, welcome back. It's week 13, and... Uh, the army has grown quite a bit. As you can see, it's kind of huge now. We can't even really fit pretty much most of the troops onto the screen, which is great. We have 452 cyclones, 180 fire spirits, a whole bunch of these tundra agents. And uh, what we're going to do is I've dropped down a save and we're going to try and burn them all in the Tower of Mages um, this week. And I don't know what this is going to do, but I imagine it'll be quite entertaining. So 452 cyclones convert to 28 spell power. Uh, we can add in these flame boys and we can add in these reagents here. And that's up to 74 spell power now. The red dragon will also be added in. These hatchlings can be added in for good measure. We can add in some golems. These are uh, Cerberuses. These waveborn water elementals. The corruptor. These 49 molten boys. This crystal boy lovely. Oh, and we've also got a whole bunch of horrors. I could hardly forget about you. And uh, yep, this is looking quite good to me. Okay, that looks like a good army. Oh, we've also got a whole bunch of bone guard. We might as well throw in some bone guard. It's some specters and even a lich for good measure. Fantastic. So here we have it. We're going to be burning pretty much our entire army to get ourselves an additional 121 spell power and 87 knowledge as well as 326,000 experience. <laughs> Oh god, look at the spell power. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we're going to improve our summoning skill, because why not? We level up again, so that means we can probably research another curse. There we go. We've now learned how to summon worms and do flame strike. This is absolutely ridiculous. Our spell power is crazy now. If we were to cast fireball, it's now being cast at 2,700% ability. We can summon 296 worms. <laughs> oh my god. Or 309 goblins. What the hell? Alright, if we were to summon these 
elemental ices. Oh my god, 115 of them. Okay, that's just downright ridiculous. That's just, that's just not okay. That's just completely not okay. All right, there's an easy enemy army here. We're naturally going to just waltz on up to it and uh, choose to fight it, of course, so that we can just summon a whole bunch of boys. Let's get some ice elementals in there. That's another 62 of them summoned. Let's get some mana elementals in there. That's 41 of those bad boys. Some magma elementals. That's another 54 permanent ones. We'll get some air elementals in. That's 123 permanent air elementals summoned just like that using only 28 mana. 28 mana for 123 units is not balanced in any way. Oh my god. Oh lord. What have I created? What have I done? I love it, but it's also completely horrible. Oh my god, we can just summon an army out of thin air. This is the worst, but also beautiful at the exact same time. Oh, it's fantastic. We can then just go into another fight because we kind of need to as we have more mana to spend this turn as we have so much mana generation. So we have to go into another fight just quite simply so that I can summon more stuff in. Yeah, the game is um definitely chugging now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm so sorry, developer. I am sorry that I've done this to your game, but please just, you know, you put this in your own game. You knew what you were getting. You knew this was exactly what I was going to do to this game when you decided to add in unlimited power abilities. I'm sorry, it's just I'm British, I have to do this. It's just in my DNA, it's my natural fiber. I drink tea and consume universes. And this is exactly the next universe I want to consume. It's glorious, truly, truly glorious. Anyway, that's another total victory. Um, I love having my frames back. Right, straight into the conversion chamber we go. Okay, red dragons, you're getting converted. Uh, but first, let us convert all the 700... 25 tundra reagents and that's 130 spell power oh my god right let's add the cyclones let's add in the fanatoses oh my god we can even add in the golems uh the horrors of course they're very good these molten boys fantastic these Arcanatrons, lovely stuff, and of course these fire boys. Oh my goodness, this has just been absolutely glorious for us. Right, well that's another 266 spell power and 193 knowledge, which of course brings our total mana cap up to 3,790, and we now get 370 mana per turn. But more importantly, we've leveled up again. <laughs> Oh my god. And we're gonna naturally pick up an additional logistics point and mysticism, so all spells are now more effective. Oh my god, right, a hero's reached level 30. Dear god, we've become a god. Oh my god, just look at the way our army moves around the map. It is a nightmare abomination just because of how many troops we have. Right, I think it's probably time that I go and uh, murder some of the AI, so I'm just gonna march straight on to their capital and uh, beat them up because I can. I've become god, ladies and gentlemen. Destroyer of worlds and summoner of entire armies in milliseconds. Oh, they're sending an army down here. Oh, lovely. I am so going to murder that into oblivion. Oh, now it turns out the main enemy army decided to run away from me this turn. How incredibly rude of them. Don't they know who I am? I'm the famous YouTuber, the Smithing Grid. And I will chase you down and murder you. Yes, I will. Ah, here you are. Level 43 Lanza with the entire might of your empire, uh, which consists of one red dragon. And um, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna use summoning magic this time. I'm just going to use regular magic. And by regular magic, I of course mean weakness. Now, this spell is increased by 9,000%. So we're just going to weaken the enemy army and lower their health by 100. I don't even think they have a base health of 100. They don't. I guess they've all become minus 100. Anyway, next up, I can do fire shield to increase the health of my units. That's increased the health by lovely huge amounts. Fantastic. Now, I could summon 1,000 goblins right now, but that would sadly damage the balance of the game. So instead, I'm going to do an ice bot that does 8,000 damage and just yeet it right here and just that's it That's just a whole bunch of dudes dead. There's just no other way of looking at it That is just dead dudes. I can also cast this spell which just heals every single unit of mine Instantaneously on the battlefield and then I can cast this to basically make all of my troops attack faster But the issue is they're going to attack so fast that they are now just going to effectively plow through the enemy with godlike speed and precision They have now become unstoppable Oh, and also I can give them a shield just to greatly increase their health. There we go. Buff the hell out of them. Why not? This was already looking too fair. And I'm just going to cast a lightning bolt that will murder everyone standing.
standing in that circle. And what I can also do is just summon some horrors over here in the corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them an accuracy buff. And that should turn them into effectively mini guns in the corner of the map here. Not that we particularly need it because, of course, the enemy uh, is dead now. They're pretty much dead. Uh, but that doesn't matter. I want to give them more precision so that they can shoot faster and harder. Because why not? I just think it would be fun. Oh, yes, they are horrifically terrifyingly powerful. Anyway, let's just turn the rest of the enemy army into frogs temporarily. We can turn the entire enemy army into frogs because our spell power is so great, it just covers the entire battlefield at this point. So all of the enemy are frogs, which is great because when the frogs die, they're going to make skeletons, and then they're going to turn back to regular humans, and then when those humans die, they're also going to make skeletons. It basically doubles the amount of skeletons we're getting. And then we can do a corpse explosion, which is going to basically blow up every single corpse on the map doing damage to nearby enemies, and that's just going to kill all of the nearby enemies. It might have, you know, murdered a large amount of my own troops. I am noticing there's about 287 dead flame spirits here, and that's okay because when there's 287 dead flame spirits, uh, we can just make another 433 of them. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my lord! Oh my, this is just, oh wow. Yeah, this is something, this is something right here. This is, um, this is power, ladies and gentlemen. True, unadulterated, sheer, absolute broken power. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed watching today's video and enjoy True Power, then make sure to give this video a like and go into the comment section and tell me you'd like me to unlock unlimited power in next because every game has ways to do this. Every game has an infinite spiral of power just waiting to be tapped by a tea-fueled British madman. So put down your recommendation, ladies and gentlemen, and it will happen. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. As always, a huge thank you to each and every one of our amazing Patreon supporters and YouTube channel members who make these videos all the more possible. Seriously, thank you very much, you majestic sausages. And hey, if you're sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now.